Hey everyone, and good Friday evening to you. We're going to geek out to the weekend forecast and much, much more. And since this is the final weather for Weather Geeks of May and of meteorological spring, I thought I would t start out this evening with a review of the spring and a look ahead to meteorological summer. Temperature-wise, across the country this spring season, this is the temperature anomaly map for the last 90 days, so basically taking us through meteorological spring. Hard to find much blue on this map few spots in the desert southwest, but otherwise most of the country had a warmer than average spring. Now locally we had a very warm month of March. It was over five degrees warmer than average in March. April was much closer to average, and May is going to go into the record books as cooler than the average, but when you combine the three months it ends up being a warmer than average season in our local area. Now this uh, graphic will not surprise you if you are frustrated by the rain this spring. Now the totals have not been astronomical, but particularly on the weekends, particularly on Saturdays. It's wanted to rain this spring. This is the calendar view of March, April, and May. Look at Saturdays, uh, at least a trace every single Saturday in March, every single Saturday in April. We've had two dry Saturdays here in May. Um, we've done better on Sundays. A couple of zeros in April, a zero there in March, uh, three straight zeros in May, but Saturdays, it's it's just wanted to rain. And the number of days overall in which measurable precipitation occurred, yeah, pretty numerous this spring. You have to go back really to kind of that uh, second full week of March to find a long string of zeros on the board here. Not many strings of dry days like that here in the spring season. It's been particularly frustrating here in May when, you know, mowing season is in full swing and baseball and softball and graduations and you name it, all that stuff is trying to happen and the weather has not exactly been cooperative over the last couple of weeks with some exceptions. All right, meteorological summer, June, July, and August. Uh, meteorologists like uh, these, you know, meteorological or climatological seasons because they always begin and end on the same day. It makes for tidier record keeping and well, June, July, and August, the three warmest months of the year, of course, here in the Northern Hemisphere. And in our local area, our average high temperature peaks at 83 degrees during the middle of July. And it only slowly decreases from there. Once we reach an average high of 80 or better in late June, we stay that way almost until the end of August. All right, so what's in store for summer 2025? We think the strongest odds are for a warmer than average season. Maybe, uh, you know, surprises you a little bit, but considering how cool it's been of late. But I, I've mentioned this on a few videos uh, lately that, you know, the pattern in May doesn't have a lot of bearing on, on the summer season. So we think that the odds will favor a warmer than average outcome. Does that mean every day is going to be warm this summer? Warmer than the average? No. But when you average the three months together, much like the spring season, it will probably be a warmer than average season. Now the precipitation forecast, perhaps a little more interesting. Um, it's not as much of a high confidence thing, um, but I am more confident uh, in the idea that it will at least be wetter than last summer. Last summer it got abnormally dry in parts of the area. Now the drought situation was much worse in Southeast Ohio, but in Northeast Ohio and Western Pennsylvania, we had some areas that got kind of dry at times. I think we'll see less real estate with dry conditions this summer and early this fall season. So I put the odds of a, a near average outcome or a somewhat wetter than average outcome as about the same. I, I think that odds are least favorable for a really dry summer and on the other end of the spectrum a really wet summer. Neither of those outcomes seems all that likely to me. One of the ways we measure uh, the severity of the heat in the summertime season is how many 90 degree days we have in, in our at our latitude in our part of the country we tend to average about eight uh, 90 degree plus days per year now you go off into the southeast i don't know what the numbers are but a place like atlanta or charlotte or orlando a 90 degree day is nothing for them but for us that means it's a pretty hot day well, last year we had eight right at average but two years ago in 2023 we only had a couple um this year i kind of suspect uh we don't go over our average uh, I don't think we'll be under by a huge margin, but I could see where we're somewhere maybe between, say, four and seven, 90 degree days. You know, looking at the medium range modeling for June, I don't see a lot of uh, necessarily cool stretches like we have been in, but I also don't see a uh, an obvious hot trend either, a sustained hot trend anytime real soon. So we might not rack up very many 90 degree temperatures early in the season this year. They may be more reserved for the middle and latter portions 
of the uh, summer. All right, today's numbers on this 30th day of May. 65, and that was 1047 this morning. The afternoon was cooler because it started raining. Um, officially, as of 530 or so this evening, 0 0.05 inches worth of rain at the airport. You know, we were kind of hemming and hawing in terms of our forecast over the last couple of days. The right answer ended up being it, it was just was going to rain today. The rain pushed farther north than some of the modeling certainly yesterday morning would have you believe. Yesterday afternoon, the modeling started shifting back north. That trend continued overnight into this morning, and in fact, in most of the area, we had some measurable precipitation today. Now, the highest amounts were, as expected, south and east of Youngstown, but even north and west of Youngstown, we saw some rain out there this afternoon. Not as much as some of our neighbors off to the south. In fact, a nearly stationary band of pretty decent rainfall rates in the panhandle of West Virginia, uh, south of the Pittsburgh area and southwest PA, and around Morgantown in northern uh, West Virginia, uh, flash flood warnings have been issued. Um, it's been raining really heavily for several hours down there. In fact, I'll pan the radar down, and you can see it's just been raining steadily, if not heavily, for several hours in a place like uh, Morgantown and up towards, uh, you know, around and just especially south and east of, of the Wheeling area. Now, in our viewing area, as we uh, get set for sunset this evening, there might be a couple of sprinkles or a passing shower. Better chance for showers probably after sunset this evening as this activity off to our north and west starts pushing in. Uh, we've seen these scattered showers in Michigan, parts of northwest Ohio, and I think we'll see a scattering of showers around here in advance of our cold front as we head through the overnight. No severe weather threat here locally, but we've had some tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings well off to our south and east, and a tornado watches out for DC, for Baltimore, for Virginia Beach, Norfolk. Severe thunderstorm watches and tornado watches still out for parts of the Carolinas this evening as well. As far as our local weather, again, a little bit of a lull here just prior to sunset, but after sunset, showers become increasingly likely. Showers will come and go throughout the night. Uh, if you have outdoor plans on Saturday, might still be some renegade showers and sprinkles on the prowl for the few, first few hours of daylight. I think we're probably in the clear by 10, 11 o'clock noon. The rest of the day, just clammy. Temperatures will go nowhere. I think clouds will dominate for a lot of the midday a good chunk of the afternoon as well. There may be some clearing towards evening. Won't do us a lot of good though. I think temperatures fall into the 50s tonight and they stay in the 50s all day on Saturday. Not a very nice May 31st. Now June the 1st will be better. Sunshine in abundance on Sunday. We'll shake off the chill and make it into the mid 60s and high pressure will bring us a picture perfect day on Monday. Yes, it's going to be chilly again at the start of the day. I think you know many neighborhoods will be in the lower 40s, but that'll be at the very start of Monday by the afternoon. We're talking mid 70s and just about perfect with low humidity. How long does the warm weather last? I think it lasts a while. Now, is every day gonna be as warm as say next Wednesday? We have 86 in the forecast for next Wednesday. No, every day is not gonna be like that. Um, but we're not gonna slip back into the kind of consistently cool pattern that we've been in of late. So uh, things are going to turn around in a big way heading into the month of June. Our patience will be rewarded. I know our patience has been tried over the last couple of weeks. In the meantime, thank you for watching Weather for Weather Geeks on this Friday evening. We're going to take Monday evening off from Weather for Weather Geeks, so have a great weekend and a great Monday, and I'll see you back here on Tuesday.